Good morning, children. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're all well. Uh, today, we are going to be starting a new uh, text. Um, we won't get everything done that I want to do because there's only a week and four days left. So, But we can definitely have a look at it. So we're going to go back to non-fiction now and then do a bit of work on goblins. Okay, so hopefully you'll enjoy this one. I've enjoyed getting it ready for you, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let's just share my screen so we can start. Up. Okay, so goblinology. So as I said, this unit of work is all about goblins, and we're going to be looking at some pieces of text from a book called Goblinology, The Ultimate Guide to Goblins. Okay, um, we'll be looking at different texts, but uh, not today. I've got, um, got a word-making game for you to complete today. So, ology, this is what I'm talking about here, is a suffix. Ology is a suffix. It's a group of letters that can be added to the end of a word to change its meaning. For example, abble or ibble. Um, we've also got ing. There are many different examples. So ology means the study of something. So goblinology is the study of goblins. Easy, isn't it? So what I've got over the next few pages is the word in red. And I just want you to pause it and have a think about what you think um, is the correct study for the word. So, for example, this one is biology. So do you think it's the study of plants or the study of bicycles? You can pause the video if you want as I go through them, although you should be able to answer it pretty much straight away. So, biology. Is it the study of plants or the study of bicycles? Yes, it's the study of plants. So biology is the study of plants, not bicycles. Zoology, the study of zooming rockets or the study of animals. Zoology is the study of animals. Remember, if you want to pause it, just pause it after I've read your choices. Archaeology. The study of past human life and cultures or the study of arches? So what do you think archaeology is the study of? It's the study of past human life and cultures. And I think this is the final example. Ecology. The study of elephants or the study of living things and their environment. It is, of course, the study of living things and their environment. So we've just looked at lots of different ologies. Okay, remember, ology, ology is the study of something. So I've made up some of my own ology words here, and I've chosen a noun and then just added ology to it. For example, dragonology, the study of dragons. Cakeology, I'm sure my daughter Neve would love to do that. The study of cakes. Abel wouldn't mind it either. And then giantology, the study of giants. So as you can see, I'm just making them up now. Uh, and what I want you to do today is to make up some of your own ologies. So I've got the three examples at the top. And then what I want you to do is make up ten of your own ology words. So for example, uh, let's have a think. Hmm, something interesting. Oh, there we go. Spyology. See? Spyology. Okay, you can complete ten examples. Just make up your own ology words. That would be great. Okay. Uh, be as creative as you can. See who comes up with the best ones. I'll be interested to read them. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.